What's up everyone, Take Down here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my predictions for the 2023 WWE Hall of Fame. I'm really excited and in my opinion, hopefully some of these guys do go in the Hall of Fame because I honestly would love to see that happen. But let's get right into this. Up first is Batista. Batista wrestled in the WWE from 2002 to 2010 and he did make a few returns after that. During that time, he did win the World Heavyweight Championship Championship four times, the WWE Championship twice, the World Tag Team Championship three times, twice with Ric Flair and once with John Cena. And he also won the WWE Tag Team Championship with Rey Mysterio. His first reign with the World Heavyweight Championship is the longest reign in WWE history for the World Heavyweight Championship, and that is at 282 days long. He also won the 2005 Royal Rumble, which was amazing to see. Now, after he left the WWE in 2010, he did return in 2014 and won that year's Royal Rumble, and then he left that following June. In April 2019 at WrestleMania 35, Batista did face Triple H, and after that match, the following Raw, he did announce his retirement from in-ring action. Batista was actually announced to be inducted in the 2020 Hall of Fame, but due to COVID, the event was postponed until the 2021 Hall of Fame ceremony, and they just put both the 2020 and the 2021 Hall of Fame ceremony together. Now, unfortunately, at that time, Batista was already filming his next Next movie and he could not attend the ceremony so WWE granted him access to be inducted into a future WWE Hall of Fame ceremony of his choice whenever his schedule is best for him which is awesome to see WWE doing that because they did the same thing with The Rock with The Rock's a busy movie and filming schedule they've tried to get him in for at least the last 10 years but The Rock is so busy they basically said to him instead of us asking you if you want to come in next Next year whenever you're ready just let us know and now they're doing the same thing with Batista which is awesome my next prediction for the WWE 2023 Hall of Fame is going to be a female and that is going to be Mickey James she was in the WWE from 2005 to 2010 and whenever she started she did have the storyline with Trish Stratus where she was her stalker which I don't know if that would work today, but back then it worked and it was very interesting to see. She also won the Divas Championship once and the Women's Championship five times, which was incredible. She did return in 2016 and did stay until 2021. During that time, unfortunately, she did not win a championship. After Mickey James left the WWE in 2021, she did make her way back to TNA Impact and she ended up winning the Knockouts Women's Championship, which is incredible. Then the WWE asked her if she wanted to be in the Royal Rumble that year, so the 2022 Royal Rumble, and Mickie James said yes. Whenever she went to the events, they used her TNA, her Impact theme music, and she brought out her Impact Knockouts Women's Championship with her entrance into the Royal Rumble, which was just incredible to see such a huge crossover with TNA and WWE, because that's nothing we would ever expect to see WWE do, but because it's Mickie James, she's such a legend with the WWE, they granted her and allowed her to do this, which was incredible. My next prediction is somebody from ECW, and that is Rhino. He wrestled in ECW from 1999 until it closed in 2001. During that time, he won the ECW Television Championship two times and the ECW World Championship once. From 2001 to 2005, he wrestled in the WWE, winning the Hardcore Championship three times. In 2015, he did return to the WWE and wrestled in NXT, which was completely unexpected. And in 2016, he was promoted to the main roster. Rhino and Heath Slater were the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions and only held the championship once, but definitely was amazing to see Rhino back on SmackDown and just dominating. And the fact that he won the Tag Team Championship was really incredible to see as well. Next is going to be a tag team, and it's one that was very 
awesome in the Attitude Era, and a lot of people probably wouldn't assume that I would even pick this tag team because both of them are individually in the Hall of Fame, but I would love to see them go in together. And that is, let's be honest, the APA, John Bradshaw Layfield and Ron Simmons. They teamed from 1998 until 2002. They started as the accolades and then they became the APA with the Protection Agency, which was just very incredible to see with the door backstage and having all the different segments and the drinking. And it was just incredible to see, especially during the Attitude Era. Now, again, that's not something that would work today, but it worked back then. During their run with the WWE as a tag team, they were three-time WWE Tag Team Champions. In 2012, Ron Simmons was inducted into the Hall of Fame, and in 2020, so was JBL. Now, in my opinion, I think they definitely deserve to go in the Hall of Fame together because they had such a huge impact on the Attitude Era, and it was amazing to see them team together because they are truly best friends in real life, and them as a tag team definitely worked, in my opinion. My next pick is going to be Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio just celebrated what I believe is his 20th anniversary with the WWE, which is incredible. So in my opinion, he definitely deserves to be in the WWE Hall of Fame at some points, and I actually feel that his career is winding down. He did say that he wants to retire by the time he turns 50, and he is really getting up there in age, and he's getting close to that point. So Rey Mysterio is one of the greatest cruiserweights of all time. He joined the WWE in 2002. He won the Cruiserweight Championship three times, the Intercontinental Championship twice, the Tag Team Championship four times, once with Edge, once with RVD, once with Eddie Guerrero, and once with Batista, which all of that, that is amazing to see. He also won the 2006 Royal Rumble and went on to main events WrestleMania 22, beating Randy Orton and Kurt Angle to win the World Heavyweight Championship. He would go on to win the World Heavyweight Championship two times and the WWE Championship once. Rey Mysterio left the WWE in 2015 before returning in 2018 where he won the United States Championship twice and the SmackDown Tag Team Championship once with his son Dominic Mysterio. Now in recent WWE history, Rey Mysterio and his son Dominic are on opposite sides right now. Rey Mysterio was the face and Dominic actually joined Judgment Day not too long ago. And then after that whole rivalry, Rey Mysterio ended up switching from Raw to SmackDown to avoid the Judgment Day because he ended up not wanting to face his son. In my opinion, it is definitely fueling for a Rey Mysterio versus Dominic Mysterio match at a WrestleMania, and I think that would be awesome to see, but it's honestly not something I think Rey Mysterio would want to do to end his career facing his son, because let's face it, Rey Mysterio would have to try to put his son over. I would much rather see Rey Mysterio end his career on his terms and face somebody from his past, beating them once again. I think that would be epic, but there's no question that Rey Mysterio not only deserves to be in the Hall of Fame, but is definitely gonna be in the Hall of Fame in a few short years, hopefully, in 2023. And my last pick for the WWE 2023 Hall of Fame is another tag team, and I couldn't pick between these two, so I decided to add this one. Now, originally I was thinking Edge and Christian, but I just don't see that happening for a few more years because Christian did get approved for in action, but he is in AEW and TNA. That's where he's been competing, whereas Edge did make his return to the WWE and he is competing in action. So I just don't see them inducting them as a tag team. I think eventually, hopefully, Christian will make his way back to the WWE and Edge and Christian will team up once again and then be inducted in the Hall of Fame together. I think that's more realistic. But my last prediction is for the Hardy Boys. They joined the WWE in 1998 and they gained a lot of popularity with their ladder and TLC matches with the Dudley Boys and Edge and Christian. They were best known for their extreme high flying moves. While in the WWE, they won the Tag Team Championship six times, and they also both have won a lot of single titles as well. They returned to the WWE in 2017 at WrestleMania 33, winning the Raw Tag Team titles, and then later, before they did split up in the WWE, they also won the SmackDown Tag Team titles as well. 
in my opinion, as the most extreme tag team in WWE history, and they are still going strong in other companies. I honestly feel like they definitely will be part of the WWE Hall of Fame someday, and I honestly can't wait to see that happen. So these are my predictions for the WWE 2023 Hall of Fame. Comment down below what you guys think. Do you guys think these guys are going to be inducted in the Hall of Fame? If not, who do you predict on is going to be... If not, who do you predict is going to be inducted in the Hall of Fame? Let me know down in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.